Hey, what's going on guys? This is DiverHasaKicks.com and this morning we are going to talk about the Air Jordan 1 High True Blue. I'm just amazed at how Nike continues to find ways to drop more colorways of the Jordan 1 High. I mean, it's, such, it's just incredible. I know this is a beloved silhouette, but man, can they stop? It's just a lot of it. Now, this one is obviously inspired by the True Blue 3. And the base of the shoe is white. And it's a white leather with gray and blue overlays for a classic two-tone effect. And it sits on top of a white midsole and gray rubber outsole. That's just like a mo modern touch that still honors the original design. As for branding, you have like Nike swooshing on both sides of the panels in blue, and as well as on the Wings logo and on the quarter panels. And a Nike Air with a small swoosh on the outside of the tongue. So if you're looking to grab a pair, I'll give you some details in a minute. So basically, the style code is DZ5485410, and the price is $180. Now, who's getting the shoe? You're going to have Nike, of course. Then uh, Shoe City, Finish Line, JD Sport, Foot Locker, DTLR, Snipes, and several other uh, retailers. But I'm just going to stick with this now. If you want to get the shoe right the second, you can check it on eBay or StockX. You can see the link below. Now, we're going to talk about uh, the resale value of the shoe. A lot of people want to know, okay, is the Jordan 1 high? Is it reselling? So that's what I'm going to talk about. The first thing you want to mention is always the demand and the popularity so i'm going to show you a chart in a minute and i'm going to show you how the shoe is behaving at this point again if you look at the chart above you will see that uh, interest uh, peaked in february 2022 and the score was 100 and since then interest levels have been lower ranging from like 26 to 50. now this is 50 out of 100. so looking at the demand and the supply ratio in the secondary market that means on third-party marketplaces you can see that there is twice as much supply than there is the demand. This is 54 to 125. Now, this doesn't mean that the shoe is not selling. Just because the supply exceeds the demand doesn't mean that the shoe is not selling. So the next thing you want to look at when it comes to like reselling the shoe is the sell-through rate. Are people actually buying the shoe? And it's interesting because the STR or the sell-through rate is 72%. This is 1.8 times above average. That is good news. So the shoe does sell quite well. A lot of people want it. Now, we're also going to look at the current selling price. Are people actually buying the shoe? Which is interesting. Now, if you look on the chart again, you're going to see that on the 10th of January, the average selling price was 195 And on the 11th of January, it went up to 206 So the trend is kind of up. Now again, that could be given. That could be due to many different things. It could be sizes, differences. It could be tons of things. So we're gonna try and find some more details. So I went ahead and found the um, uh, five number summary. And if you look at my chart again, you're gonna see that the lowest sale recorded was 170. That's for a size nine, and the highest sale was 239 for a size. Eight and a half, and you're gonna see that 25% of the shoes sold for prices between 170 and 181, and that's like size eight and a half, nine, three size nine and a half, two size ten, two size ten and a half, two size eleven, a size eleven and a half, and a size thirteen, and then half of the shoes sold for prices bit from 181 to 210, and the remaining 25% sold for prices from 210 to 239. Now there were no outliers. So the distribution is normal and the overall average sale price is $195, again $195, and that leads to a $12 loss. Meaning if you sell the shoe now, you're going to lose about $12 because the average sale price is not too interesting. Now I went ahead and found um, like the number of um, the, the profits earned by size sold because you know what, just because uh, the overall selling price is not great, does that mean that there are certain sizes that are not selling well? That's what I'm going to show you in a minute. So if you look on the chart again, you're going to see that size 5 and 6.5 and in mains uh, led to a profit of $18. And then from size 7.5 to size 13, it's all losses. And they range anywhere from like $3 loss all the way to a $22 loss or $29 loss on size 10 and size 9.5, size 9, 8.5, 8. Seven and a half all led 
to losses. So what does that mean? Out of every player sold on the on the third party marketplaces, only two sides led to a profit and that size uh, five and six and a half, that's eighteen dollars and that's a nine percent markup. That's still below average. So if you're a day trader, and what I mean what do I mean by day trader? If you're trying to sell the shoe like right now, this is not a shoe that you want to resell. You definitely want to stay away from this. You don't want to do that, you're gonna lose money. But this is good news for buyers because most pairs are selling right around retail. So if you're trying to get the shoe and you don't you don't want to get up on Monday uh, on Saturday morning or do all the raffle stuff, just wait. Cuz you're not going to you're not going to pay more than retail for them, okay? So don't 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 panic. Don't don't try to like pay over $200 for the shoe. I would not do it if I was you. I'll probably wait till I get it for like 180 or 185 somewhere. Now, they're going to sell out via retail. Because you can kind of see that retail, most players are selling for retail a little less or a little more than retail. So, and the prices are anywhere between 181 and 210. So, like I said, I will wait. I will not pay more than 200 for this shoe. Now, how are people able to sell it for this low? They are probably getting this from the Nike employee store where prices are probably like 40% to 50% below the MSRP. So, again, you don't want to resell this shoe. Now, is it worth reselling for the long term? Maybe you might have to wait like 24 to 36 months to see any major change. One thing is certain, uh, the sell-through rate is high, but that does not mean that uh, the shoe is going to bump in price overnight. That's going to take some time, okay? Now, I also released uh, a post on how to identify the fake uh, Jordan 1 High True Blue. Check the link in the description. You're going to see it, and you, that's going to help you figure out whether you, the shoe that you have on hand is fake or real. Again, this is done. If you have any questions, uh, please do uh, send me a message or just check the website as I always, 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 always update with new information on a daily basis. All right. And um, before I leave, I'll, I've also worked on the Jordan 5 Dunk on Mars. That's the girls' uh, sneakers. I, I also talked about how the shoe. Uh, the resale value of the shoe i don't have time to put it on youtube but please check that out okay again thanks for watching this is Ty from master kicks and stay tuned for more stuff